very warm welcome to this online service for the 17th Sunday after Trinity and also the first of two online services focusing on harvest. At harvest time we thank God for all the gifts which have been given to us and all the opportunities made available to us from the world and its resources. Yet this planet is not ours to do with what we want. It's made by God and we are privileged to have a time here to look after and enjoy it. The expectation is that, that we will pass it on to our children in a better condition than we found it. So today we come together to worship God and to thank him for journeying with us through the year. We come from our fields and gardens to give thanks for the harvest and our land and ask for his continued blessing on the work of our hands. So we pray together. Let us come before God with thanksgiving and praise him joyfully in psalms. For he tends the earth and waters it. He makes it rich and fertile. Lord of the harvest, all is yours. The rains that fall, the suns that shine. The seed once hidden in the ground, the skill that makes the harvest grow. Our thanks we bring to you this day. New praises from our lips shall sound. Behind the loaf is the snowy flower, and behind the flower the mill, and behind the mill is the wheat and the sun, and the rain and the Creator's will. Teach us, our God and King, to see you in all things, and all we do, we do for you and to your glory. Amen. harvest time. Time to sing about field ploughing and seed scattering. The verses we'll sing to the alternative tune you'll have heard at the very beginning of the service and the chorus to the usual more familiar tune. We plough the fields and scatter the good seed on the land. fields and scatter the good seed on the land but it is fed and watered by God's almighty hand he sends the snow in winter the warmth to swell the grain the breezes and the sunshine and soft refreshing rain all around as I sent from heaven above then thank the Lord oh thank the Lord for all his love he only is the maker of all things near and far he paints the wayside flower he lights the evening star the winds and waves obey him by him the birds are fed much more to us his children he gives our daily bread all good gifts around us are sent from heaven above then thank the lord oh thank the lord for all his love We thank thee then, O oh Father For all things bright and good The seed time and the harvest Our life, our health, our food No gifts have we to offer For all thy love imparts But that which thou desirest our humble thankful hearts all good gifts around us are sent from heaven above then thank the Lord oh thank the Lord for all his love all good gifts around us are sent from heaven above then thank the Lord Oh, thank the Lord for all his love. 
Sometimes we do not get it right. We say and do things that hurt others and damage God's world. So let us come before God and confess our sins. God our Father, we are sorry for the times when we have used your gifts carelessly and acted ungratefully. Hear our prayer and in your mercy forgive us and help us. We enjoy the fruits of the harvest but sometimes forget that you have given them to us. Father, in your mercy, forgive us and help us. We belong to a people who are full and satisfied, but ignore the cry of the hungry. Father, in your mercy, forgive us and help us. We are often thoughtless and do not care enough for the world you have made. Father, in your mercy, Forgive us and help us. We store up goods for ourselves alone, as if there were no God and no heaven. Father, in your mercy, forgive us and help us. And may the God of love bring you back to himself, forgive you your sins and assure you of his eternal love. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We now hear our Gospel reading for today, coming from the Gospel of Luke and read by Jill. Eleanor will then give us her reflection, which will be followed by music from Frida. The reading is from Luke chapter 12, 16 to 31. And Jesus told them this parable. The ground of a certain rich man yielded an abundant harvest. He thought to himself, what shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I'll do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones, and there I will store my surplus grain. And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take life easy, eat drink and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you, then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? This is how it will be with whoever stores up things for themselves but is not rich toward God. Then Jesus said to his disciples, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable are you than birds? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Consider how the wildflowers grow. They do not labour or spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendour was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it. For the pagan world runs after all such things, and your father knows that you need them. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. This is the word of the Lord. Today, we are celebrating our Harvest Festival, not in the way we would usually do, but nevertheless, we are giving thanks to God for all the good gifts that he gives us, and particularly those from the land. We thank God, too, for the rain and the sunshine, so necessary for good harvests. As we think about the produce from the land, 
we remember it comes from the small seeds sown in the autumn or in the spring, and then we see the tender young shoots break through the soil and develop into tall, strong plants, we hope, which then bear the fruit for us to eat, both above and below the ground. God's gifts to us. At harvest time we think too of the work of the farmers, which is 24-7, and particularly this year, when the rest of us were in lockdown, they were getting on working and planting the land, and we thank them with our whole hearts. And how much more aware we have become of the work of the farmers through our lockdown walking. Never have I seen only tractors whizzing along the A39 as fast as their wheels would take them. Our planting doesn't always go to plan. As some of you will have heard, a field not far from here in Thaloxton failed with yellow rape and was replanted with seven million sunflower seeds to help the wildlife. Not only were the wildlife helped, but the subsequent field of fantastic sunflowers viewed and shared over a weekend raised over £34,000 for kidney research. Something good came out of a failure. It was amazing. While farmers talk of ploughing with tractors, sowing seed over acres and harvesting with a combine harvester, many of us talk of digging our garden plot with a fork or a spade, sowing our seeds by hand in drills an inch deep and a foot apart. Then we watch eagerly for the first shoot, then the first flower, and bringing the first produce to the table, and then often sharing as we find ourselves inundated with a produce. I think this year it has been courgettes and runner beans. How wonderful. For us it is potatoes. I've always wanted to grow potatoes in the ground and this year we tried. The seed potatoes were placed in the indoor trays and we waited for them to sprout. And then into the ground they went. Then the waiting and the waiting and a tremendous sense of relief at the first sign of green. Something is happening, but we don't know what as we can't see. The top growth continues and it looks good and hopeful then the flowers and then the dying of the leaves. But we have no sense of the crop under the ground. Now the fork goes into the soil. I wonder whether there will be any potatoes. Will the crop be good or weak? The process of planting a potato into the ground and waiting for shoots and the growth and the fruit is a wonderful image of our faith journey. The seed of God's love for us is sown within us and God grows that seed, giving us strength to become his people, to tell his story to others. God's growth happens within us, out of visual sight of others, just like those potatoes, for they grow in a way that can't be seen. It is only the outward green growth that is seen, which doesn't tell us much. What is on our hearts and in our minds is known only to us and to God. For us to produce God's fruit, we need to be open to God's watering and sunshine through prayer and listening to the Bible and to him, to follow God's ways and being obedient to him. As our gospel reminds us, we are not to worry about what we wear, what is on the outside, but rather focus on God. That is not to say our appearance doesn't matter, it does. But what is on the inside is more important. And yes, sometimes we stray, get caught up in worldly ways and get it wrong and the crop fails. But just like the tremendous array of sunflowers coming out of failure, God gives us opportunities to return to him and produce a good, fruitful crop. A crop that not only in the sense of our unseen relationship with God, but also a crop that visibly feeds others and brings them to a knowing of God. And the one thing that's good about a potato crop is that no two potatoes are the same. All are different. Some are smooth, others uniquely shaped. 
we are all different. God gives us different gifts, each important in the whole crop. If we were in church, I would give you a potato, but online that's a touch difficult. So please find a potato this week. Hold it and remind yourself that you are created by God, grown by God and loved by God. And as our inward relationship with God grows unseen in our hearts, so may we bear visible fruit for him. Amen. Together, let us affirm our faith in God. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world. We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. We now recall all the people that we would normally meet in church on a Sunday all our family and friends and all those we want to share Christ's peace with. As we recall their faces, we remember that God is love and those who live in love live in God and God lives in them. The peace of the Lord be always with you. We come now to our prayers of thanksgiving, which will be led by Sarah. We thank God for his abundant goodness to us throughout the year. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for all the gifts you have given us, for our life and the world in which we live. Father, we give you thanks and praise. For the work we are able to do, for the truth we seek to learn, for the good that has been in our lives. Father, 
we give you thanks and praise. For the order and constancy of nature, for the beauty and bounty of the world, for day and night, summer and winter, seed time and harvest. Father, we give you thanks and praise. For the boundless store of harvest, for the fruits of the earth to sustain and gladden life. Father, we give you thanks and praise. For the industry and perseverance of those who work on our farms, for those who shape the farmer's tools and build machines, for those who, by their skill and labour, have helped to supply our food. Father, we give you thanks and praise. For the comforts of life, for our homes and their joys, for our villages and their community life, for our friends and neighbours who care for us. Father, we give you thanks and praise. For the people who care for us, for our doctors and nurses, for our hospitals, care homes and surgeries, particularly at this time of additional pressure and worry. Father, we give you thanks and praise. For our communion with you, Father of all, for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, for his life and his death, for his resurrection and ascension, for his redemption of all creation, for the inspiration of your Holy Spirit. We give you thanks and praise, Lord God, our Heavenly Father. Before our special prayer for harvest, we hold before you, Lord, all who are unwell and in need at this time. Eternal God, you crown the year with your goodness and you give us the fruits of the earth in their season. Grant that we may use them to your glory, for the relief of those in need and for our own well-being. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And we join all our thoughts and prayers together in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Through summer, winter, springtime and harvest, our God remains faithful, providing for all our needs. We sing, Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father There is no shadow of turning with thee Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not As thou hast been, thou forever will be Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand has provided, great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. Summer and winter, spring 
time and harvest Sun, moon and stars in their courses above Join with all nature in manifold witness To thy great faithfulness, mercy and love Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness Morning by morning new mercies I see All I have needed, thy hand has provided Great is thy faithfulness To cheer and to guide Strength for today And bright hope for tomorrow Blessings are mine With ten thousand besides Great is thy faithfulness Great is thy faithfulness Morning by morning New mercies I see All I have needed I have Faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. As our worship draws to a close, we remember God's harvest and pray. Almighty God, our heavenly creator, you give us so much. Give us also, we pray, loving hearts and practical minds, that in the worldwide task of caring, no one may starve while we eat so well. In the name of Jesus, the bread of life, <clears throat> we pray. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and all those whom you love and pray for this day and always. Amen. Let us all go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>